Today is finally the day to answer the question that nobody ever asked. Can you use metal drift tires on a go-kart? I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but um, you never find metal drift tires online. Nobody makes them. So I was like, well, how am I gonna do this? And so one day I was at work and it hit me and I was like, buckets, metal buckets. People make metal buckets. They're wide enough to fit tires. I'm gonna buy some metal buckets. They're cheap and throw them on there and see if this thing will drift and kick up sparks. I don't know. I think it's gonna be sick. I'm about to find out though. So here buckets. are the beautiful buckets. They're wide. They uh, fit the tire pretty good. Um, they're a little bit too big. I'll probably just throw some like duct tape on it, do something, I don't know. We'll slap them on there, cut the handles off and just, you know, full send it, you know? Dude, like butter. There we go. Next step is tape. Ooh. These buckets are a little too big, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of tape on the inside. I think after a few seconds, I figured out the best technique for getting tape inside the bucket. Alright, hopefully this is enough tape. I just realized, how am I supposed to inflate it? Oh man. So I cut a hole through, I'm gonna attach this in here now, and then shove the bucket on, air it up, and then I can just pull it back out. Second oh. hole is complete. All right, about to go up to a pretty high PSI. All right, got them pumped up to a decently high 15 PSI, and hopefully I can pull this out of here now. Without too much trouble, I don't know, I might have to break the hole open more. She's officially riding on buckets. Ripped the tape off. You see that? <laughs> Dang, I thought I had a fast way to put the tape on. This go-kart's a little too powerful. Bro, I'm glad you're okay. I'm bro, look at that. <laughs> I'm glad I suggested we use a Phillip head and not your fingers to hold it in there, because you would have got ripped up, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> straight up kicking up sparks i can't wait to do this like near like sunset i'm gonna leave it out
<laughs> that was probably the sickest thing I've ever seen. Like, there were sparks straight coming out everywhere. It's super hard to drift, though, like, because there's no grip on the back and the front tires, like, have normal rubber. So they're gripping so much that, like, it's harder to maintain a drift. I'll try and maintain one. Is coming off of your tires, bro. Sick. Holy moly, shit is bro. Hot. Dude, that was insane, bro. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> this is such a good idea. I never thought that I would be able to like do this. I always thought I'm never gonna find a piece of metal that's like big enough to fit on these and get it to work. And after like taping it for so long and it just kept falling off. I didn't think how to do it. <laughs> they are straight toasty though. Oh my goodness, dude. This is so sick. It was ripping those tires up. Dude, that this thing is so fun, bro. It's such a beast of a cart too. Like, it is ridiculous. Dude, the pure adrenaline, bro, from driving this thing. You'll see it in the GoPro footage. Like sparks were flying over my shoulders oh my and everything. I <laughs> I, don't know, I could like straight up smell the metal like coming behind me and I could just see all the light from behind like just shining up on me. That was probably the funnest thing I've ever done. That was ridiculous. So I finally got done editing that video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and liking. Um, Just helps out the algorithm. Even disliking if you didn't like it, that still helps. Or just commenting any suggestions if you want like any other type of tire videos. Like I want glass tires. I don't know. Duct tape tires. I might do that. Um, but yeah, anything helps out a small creator and, you know, just boosting the videos up there to the algorithm, get people to see it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you like that video, I, I can do stuff similar to that. Um, other than that, um, have a good day, y'all.